go from this portrait to this final portrait in four simple steps using nothing but natural lighting and what we call compositional stacking. My name is Pai. I've been fortunate to create multiple successful companies in the photography space. I'm a photographer, but even more so, I would say I'm an educator and frameworks person. My specialty, making complex subjects easy for you to master, right here on Adorama TV. Hello, my friends. My name is Pai. Welcome to Adorama TV. This is my friend, Kiara. You guys probably know her well. We'll link her up so you can give her a follow. Let's get right into this. So all too often, we approach a scene and we just kind of take the walk-up shot. This is what I would say is the walk-up shot. So I'm just gonna take this shot. We're gonna go for an isolated portrait and not really think anything about overall composition or anything like that. It's just a shot of Kiara. And Kiara still manages to make it look decent, somewhat acceptable, but that's her, that's not me. And then oftentimes you end up looking at the final image that a photographer might create and you wonder how did they get there? That's what I wanna talk about here because you can make a huge improvement to each of your shots with a process that we call compositional stacking. All this is, is just layering one improvement at a time to the image until you get to the final. Let me show you how that works. So the first improvement that I'm gonna make here is, well, I would say it's not really a good idea, especially when you're using natural light and you're not using flashes and other modifiers to shoot into a background that's brighter than your subject. Because when you do, you get the shots that we're getting here. And again, we're going for something like isolated, but that just kind of shows you the overall scene, right? So the first thing that we're gonna do is, well, I'm just gonna shift my angle and we're gonna shoot towards a background that is the same level of brightness as our subject, or at least close to, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and zoom back in so we kind of isolate. Immediately, there's a gigantic improvement between that versus our very first shot, right? And you could almost pass this off as just being done. Side note, I'm at 1 500th F2 and ISO 100. You're getting that blur and background kind of bokeh because I'm shooting at F2 on a lens that basically can open out really wide. So this is a 28 to 70 lens. You can use a prime, you can use whatever you'd like. It doesn't have to be this setup, but any 50 millimeter at you know F1.4, F2.0 is gonna give you that kind of a look. Already this looks fantastic, but what if we layered another compositional element onto it? So let's go to kind of our stack part two. Let's now control the background. So to isolate and create a portrait that really draws us in, I want to kind of simplify the background a bit. So what I'm going to do now is have Kiara actually walk right up to this wall. And Kiara, I just want you to lean against this wall like this and look into the camera. And I'm going to take the shot, same composition, same everything, but from this angle right here. Okay, and immediately, I feel like that's another improvement in terms of simplifying the background and drawing attention in where we don't have all those distractions, right? By the way, shooting at F2 was also to eliminate distractions. So we're kind of layering up a bunch of different steps here, but that's okay. What if we were to add another layer to this? So let's say I wanna isolate and zoom in just a little bit more, maybe add a little bit of foreground interest to the shot. So I'm gonna bring the lens kind of towards this wall and I'm gonna have Kiara lean and she's gonna turn the chin this way a little bit, that's it and just shooting slightly behind the brick and zooming in now, we get this. That looks pretty awesome. I love the way that the foreground kind of leads into the shot. And we even use this leading line from just the curb to kind of draw into our subject, right? But there's one last piece that I'm gonna to add to this. See, my light is all coming from this side. She's in the shade and we have open sky right behind you, you guys, what you're seeing in this behind the scenes. So I'm gonna angle her chin towards that light to pick up on those natural highlights while she's looking kind of into the camera. So tilt the head kind of more towards the wall a little bit, Kiara. There, a little bit off. There you go, right there. Perfect. And looking at that final image, this is kind of crazy, right? I mean, this is straight out of camera, looking at the before versus just that series of improvements leading us to the final shot. This is what the final image edited actually looks like. And it was nothing but approaching a scene and just looking to make one improvement after another, slowing yourself down a bit until you get to that final image. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, I'd love to see you guys in the comments below. I read everything. I get lots of my ideas from you guys' comments. If you enjoyed, be sure to check out SR Lounge Premium as well. That's where we have all of our premium A to Z education, everything from photography to running a business. And of course, I'll see you guys back here same time at same place next week on Ad Arma TV. We'll link up Kiara, all the gear in the description of the video, and see you guys next time. Peace.